what is going on everybody i'm a complete mess right now i've been working all day but i just wanted to make a quick update video i've been seeing a lot of the comments people wondering where i've been i just wanted to make a quick update video kind of tell you guys what's been going on in my life show you what i've been up to and uh and just tell you what's going on so let's get into it so a lot of you guys remember the first videos that i made on this channel um about two three years ago we're in a little blue shed and that little blue shed sat right here. So um, a lot of you guys remember when we built the new shop, the reason we built the new shop was because of that blue shed getting torn down. And that blue shed got torn down because we put this addition on our house. So blue shed is gone. We've been in the new shop for a long time now. I wish the shop was clean. It is unfortunately not clean as it usually is not. And uh, well, I guess I'll show you guys around that anyway. We have stairs going down to the shop now. We're gonna build a new ramp to go down into here. I've got a lot of stuff going on. I've got epoxy boards up here. I've got one that just came out of the mold. I've got some boxes over there. I got these awesome cabinets. I did a cabinet install and uh, this, these were the ones that they were tearing out. So I got these awesome cabinets. I've been using them really, really, really frequently. I actually use this one for pouring epoxy boards and finishing things. So that way I can still continue to work in the shop while things are drying. I don't get slowed down. Other than that, pretty much everything is the same. There's the old one planer. I actually had to upgrade. Um, there was a lot of things starting to go wrong with this one. A lot of the bearings and everything were shot. And so the, the entire cutter head was able to flex. I upgraded to the same one planer because I love the old one so much. I wanted to get a bigger planer, but this thing was like $300. And if I wanted to get a bigger Grizzly or a smaller Powermatic, it was like $8,000. So just stuck with this one. I got a new truck, so I needed something to tow the skid steer. And my F-150 was rated to tow the skid steer. However, it wasn't the most enjoyable thing in the world. The F-150 is kind of underpowered for towing something as heavy as that skid steer. And that skid steer is probably about 10,000 pounds. So I needed to get a Super Duty and uh, the opportunity came up for me to get this. Um, it was kind of through a family connection. It is a 2014 Ford F-250 and it is a towing monster. This thing is is really, really powerful and it's gonna do really well for me. It's got the 6.7 Power Stroke diesel, um, so it tows phenomenally. Um, this is the new work truck. And how could I have forgotten? So not only are we going to be towing the skid steer, we're going to be towing a wood miser sawmill. So, I put in my deposit about three months ago for a Woodmiser LT15 wide sawmill on the trailer with the power feed and everything. So in about 12 months, yes, these things were backed up 15 months. In about 12 months, this sawmill is going to be uh, getting finished up and I can go pick it up at the nearest dealer in Pennsylvania. The Woodmiser LT15 wide seemed like the perfect mill for me. I got it with the trailer and the power feed like I mentioned. Um, so I am super excited to start milling lumber. Um, again, it really sucks. These things are 15 months back ordered, but what are you going to do? Got mine in and mine is in line to get built. We have built a retaining wall outside of my shop. Gives us a little bit more driveway space. And you can see the old skid steer up on the hill. So I made a video when we got this thing back home. We've been using this thing a ton around the property and uh, it's just becoming super, super valuable. I can't even imagine um, not having this thing. So I've got this and the forks. The big trailer for it is at a friend's place because we don't have room for it here. This thing is again a 2008 Takuchi TL-130. You can see it's a lot dirtier than when I made a video of it last time. That is because we've been using this thing like crazy. I think to date, since I've got it in December, I've done about 11 different jobs with it. So I've done 11 different side jobs, everything from moving some dirt to spreading gravel and clearing lots and all kinds of stuff. So I love running this machine. I did upgrade to the LED light bar. This was super easy to wire up, um, but it is phenomenal. It is so much better than the factory lights. Again, this thing is a complete mess. Once it gets pressure washed, it'll look good as new, but I haven't had a chance to do that since we were using it on the whole driveway. And here are the forks for the skid steer. I still have these sitting up here. Um, I need to get some blocks under these, 
but these things work really well we built that whole retaining wall out of railroad ties so these forks made it super easy to move the forks off the trailer and put them into position so i mentioned that i got this f-250 to use as a work truck it's not as nice as my f-150 um, it's just an xl just a base model truck it doesn't even have the full back seat just the extended cab but for a work truck it should work really good for me it also has the eight foot bed with a toolbox so i've got a toolbox back there i can throw all my tools in there eight foot bed makes it super easy for work and everything like that and this thing is turning out to be awesome it's a pretty clean truck like i mentioned we got it off of kind of a family friend i got my tri ball hitch back there and uh, i'm kind of working on swapping all the lights over to led the reverse lights uh that were halogen were very 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 dim so threw some led bulbs in there and i think eventually i'm going to throw some bigger tires on it but for a work truck this thing works awesome so that is the new truck let me show you the old truck And here is the old F-150. It is a 2013 Ford F-150. This was my first vehicle. This thing means a lot to me, but unfortunately I have to sell it. And so the other day I threw it on Marketplace and it eventually sold. So this thing has served me very well for a long time. I've done a lot of things to this truck, like that two-tone tan paint job. And you may remember when I made a video about this a while ago. But um, yes, I've done a lot of stuff to this truck. Very sentimental to me, but I don't need two trucks. Trucks are very expensive and two trucks just doesn't make a lot of sense to me right now. So I'm going to use the money that I get from this truck and put it toward a piece of property. You'll see that I'm collecting quite the collection of equipment and things that take up a lot of space. And we only have about an acre of land here, so we don't have a ton of room for all of this stuff. And believe me, I have been hearing it from my parents about the skid steer sitting in the front yard, both trucks sitting in the driveway, and all of the tools and equipment and wood that are always sitting in the yard. So I am looking for a piece of property. I would love to get as much property as I could afford. Ideally, I don't have to have a payment on it and I can pay cash, but we will see what comes my way. Everything is so expensive right now. Land is, is outrageous. Vehicles are outrageous. Fuel is outrageous. So I'm having a really hard time finding a piece of property that's going to be suitable for me. That's going to be in my price range. Um, but I know the right piece will come up eventually. Moving on to the next piece of equipment that I've acquired since my last video. I got this trailer. I was doing a skid steer job for one of my neighbors. And, uh, and he told me that he had this trailer that he didn't want anymore. He wanted to get an enclosed trailer. So I acquired this trailer um, for doing some work for him. It is a, I think, 6x12, either 6 or six by 12 or 8x12 uh, utility trailer. This thing is awesome. It's got a 2-inch receiver on the front. It's got a ramp up at the front so you could pull a four-wheeler or a lawnmower up on there. And it's got the two big ramps at the back. This thing is going to be awesome when I have my sawmill. I'll be able to load slabs on this thing, load lumber on this thing. I could put sides on it and, and move mulch around. I mean, I could put all kinds of stuff on this trailer, and I got it for a steal. Now, you'll see there is some there is some surface rust in some areas, and the boards are kind of in rough shape. You can see in the back, some of them are broken, and some of them are kind of rotten. So here's my thinking. I'm going to take all these boards off and wire wheel this entire thing. I'm going to wire wheel the whole trailer down, the wheels, the frame, everything, and I'm going to have it uh, bed linered. So the spray-in bed liner, if you're not familiar with it, is like this. It's a textured, really durable textured material. And I'm going to have this whole thing bed linered. So whether that looks like me taking it somewhere to get bed linered or I get the bed liner spray and do it myself, I'm going to bed liner the whole frame, the wheels, everything, and then I will put new boards on it. So I think we can make this trailer look really good. I'm thinking that I'm going to do a video about it. Let me know if you want to see that. Um, but this thing is going to come in super handy. And as you can see, it's sitting in our front yard. So when I bought that truck off that guy, he had this thing sitting in the barn in the backyard. It is a champion generator. And uh, I was looking at the truck. I told him I wanted the truck. And uh, I asked him if he had anything else he wanted to sell. And he had this thing in the barn. 
He said it hasn't run in a long time, but he said it's pretty new. If you want it, you can have it. So it is a 2012 Champion Generator, and uh, it's 9,500 kilowatts, which is quite a bit of power. And what I had to do to it was put a new carburetor on it, put an inline fuel filter in it, flush the whole gas tank out, and replace the battery. You can see I've got the battery on a trickle charger down here just so that way it stays um, charged up. And I filled it up with non-ethanol fuel, so this thing shouldn't have any problems with the carburetor getting clogged. Um, but I got this thing running really, really good, and uh, now I've got this generator, which I figured might come in handy when I have my sawmill, and I'm sawmilling, and I've got the skid steer and everything. So just one more piece of equipment that's now in the garage that I have, uh, I have no other place for. I thought it would be really cool if I was able to build some sort of a mount for the front of that utility trailer or the back of my truck to where I could mount this thing there and run extension cords and run tools and stuff off of it. So that is the basic gist of everything that is happening. I think I've covered about every new piece of equipment or new tool that I've gotten. Um, the priority now is finding a piece of property. I need land, I need land, I need land. Preferably wooded, but some field is fine. I need a place where I can take all this equipment, I can take my sawmill, I can mill there. And what I need to do is when I find a piece of property, build a huge barn. I would love to have a barn that I could have a wood shop in, I could store all my equipment like my sawmill and my skid steer in, and maybe even have a little little small living space above it like a little apartment that you could stay in until you eventually built a house. But I'm slowly acquiring all of the tools and stuff that I need to build a barn, you know, the skid steer, the sawmill, the truck, the generator, everything. Obviously I have all the woodworking equipment and those tools, so I think I'm really gonna be in good shape when I do find a piece of land. As I mentioned before, my big equipment trailer that I use to transport my skid steer is at a friend's house. It's at his business, actually. Um, and, and he's actually had some problems with things getting stolen from there in the past. And so if I can find a place to get that trailer so it's not, you know, vulnerable to being stolen, that would make me very happy. Um, I would hate for that trailer to get stolen. The trailer for that skid steer is probably worth like $6,000, and I could not replace that very easily um so i would love to get that trailer out of there i would love to get all my stuff together and uh and so really i have to have a piece of property so that is the plan as of right now i'm looking for a piece of land preferably wooded um i would love to have at least 15 20 acres i don't want to have to deal with running out of room um somewhere where i can build a barn zoned agricultural would be awesome i just want a place that i can eventually put a house on have my barn I would love to have maybe some cattle and have chickens and, you know, be able to tap maple trees and maybe have honeybees, like all kinds of stuff. I think that stuff's awesome. And, um, well, we will see what the future holds. But for now, I'm staying busy with the skid steer. I'm waiting for that sawmill to get here. And, uh, yeah, I think when the guy comes and picks up my truck, and I get paid for the F-150, I'm going to go and buy all the stuff that I need to redo that trailer over there. It's not in terrible shape. I could use it as is, but I would love to get that thing done, get that thing undercoated or bedlined, I mean, and then also get those boards replaced. So it's only going to be about 300 bucks, which isn't terrible. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to do pretty soon. Um, so you might be seeing a video about that here shortly. Thank you guys so much for watching. I apologize that there has not been very many uploads recently. I've pretty much just been grinding and working and saving money for property and saving money for gas. I mean, fuel is crazy. Gasoline is like $5 a gallon. Diesel is almost $6 a gallon. And so I think everybody's feeling the effects of that. Hopefully it goes down soon. I doubt it will. Um, all just trying to get by. So I just pray that... Um, I pray that this would all get figured out. I pray that our world would kind of settle down, but I doubt that's going to happen anytime soon. Thank you guys for watching. Please be, uh, please be sure to like and comment down below. I love reading all of your comments, and uh, look out for that next video. Thank you.